Hello, YouTube. <clears throat> Welcome back from my stoop. It's been a while again. <laughs> yeah. But uh, what I've realized is when I'm busy, really busy, um, then obviously that takes <clears throat> all the all the time and all the spare time so I cannot complain because I'm fortunate that I'm busy just imagine doing nothing <laughs> there's two things that I would like to discuss today or <clears throat> that I was thinking about today one thing two things whatever The first one is, is on a sad note, Mr. Colin Wesley has died about two or three weeks ago. Um, now, many of you might not know him, but um, he is, um, he, I think he could be easily described as Mr. Tobacco South Africa. Uh, he was one of the last standing tobacconists. Um, you know, I remember when I started smoking in the 80s, 1980s, um, there were plenty tobacconists um, making good money and you know all those kind of shops that was really fun to be in. And they've closed down, you know, one by one as um, the tobacco regulations and things got tighter and tighter and um, marketing and cancer and whatever goes with tobacco. And currently there's, you know, for a long time, the past 10 years, 10 plus years, it was kind of Wesley's and one or two others um, that was left. And uh, Colin Wesley, from Wesley's is still uh, they're still operating, but um, yeah, he, that, that's uh, that's a big that's a big loss. Um, as I said, to me, he would be easily described as Mr. Tobacco South Africa. <clears throat> so, condolences to he, to his wife and his family, and uh, yeah, I'm, th I'm sure he would be missed. Um, I. I spent, uh, I visited him a, a few times, two or three or four times maybe, um, and every time was kind of uh, an experience, you know, you, you talk to a man who's, who, who's got plenty years of tobacco experience and visiting Savinelli and Italy and um, yeah, so that was very fun, uh, a lot of fun to, to have met him and to have um, experienced him, although it be um, very, very limited way. <clears throat> the other thing I would like to discuss is on a more um, uh, comic way, and that is um, the. Uh, I heard, I read in the news that apparently at the Oscars, um, Will Smith. As, uh, <laughs> as slap Chris Brown uh, on his uh, on a remark that he made apparently about his wife's now so I've checked the video there's an unedited v version of the video <laughs> and yeah um, so maybe you haven't seen it those who haven't seen it uh, Chris Brown being a comedian and this, um, the presenter made a joke about Will Smith's wife and the fact that she's got hair loss due to a medical condition. And at first Will Smith laughed like the crowd and then uh, obviously saw his wife not be not very impressed with her, with her remark and then stood up, walked to the, to the podium and gave Chris Brown a huge slap uh, and walked back. <laughs> and, for, and for a while, Chris Brown was dumbstruck and um, 
I, I, I hope I'm right with it, Chris Brown. Uh, I know how the guy looks, but I'm not sure what his surname, his name and surname is. But I think it is right. And then there's a f there's a few um, awkward moments. Um, yeah. So the point is, <clears throat> he made a, a a joke about Will Smith's wife. And the irony, <laughs> the irony of everything is, Will Smith actually won the Oscar for the best actor in a movie that, for the year. So, so um, yeah, so that, that makes the whole discussion a little bit different. So my uh, my thinking is, um, and I've read the comments on the on the YouTube video, and nobody nobody is impressed with Will Smith. And I'm kind of in two minds about it, because um, on the one hand, you can't condone violence in, in any form. That's true. I mean, we 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 can't we can't ever say that's that's a good thing. But on the other hand, it was a a silly joke. It's not a joke. It's a joke if you make. You know, if if you take an embarrassment of, of someone and you turn that into a joke, that's fine. And and if she cut her hair for a movie or for a role or for something, that's fine. But to make a joke about a medical condition of which she probably is not enjoying, not enjoying the fact that she's losing her hair, uh, maybe going through some struggles with it, and then make a joke about that. Ah, uh, so. Could Will Smith have handled it different? I don't know. Uh, on, on the one hand, you think, how different, what would have an impact to let him understand this is not funny? Um, you know, to, to, to get back um, at him in, a, in his speech, maybe he could have done that, I don't know. But would it have an effect? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the, the, the guys personally to know what would have, um, you know, where, when would the penny have dropped? But yeah, I kind of feel for Will Smith, um, the fact that he stood up for his wife and and reacted, uh, right or wrong. That's my question to the to the YouTubers today: is to tell me what do you think about the the scene. Um, and, and on which side do you stand? Uh, I, I've, I've, I've read about 20 comments, or I looked at about 20 comments, and there's none that was for, for Will Smith. So maybe that's, you know, being politically correct nowadays, and, and it, it irritates, it irritates me that everything needs to be politically correct. You cannot say and do things that you need to do. Um, Having said that, what Chris Brown said was not was was you know was not non-political correct. It was just not the right thing to say to someone who's struggling with a medical condition, and you don't know what they are going through, and you don't know what you know what their fears and their pain is. So that was insensitive. Um, so yeah, I, I would like to to hear what um, what you guys say. Uh, um, are you f for or against Will? <laughs> yeah. As a side note, <laughs> just imagine, just imagine for a second in this politically correct time of us and BLM, what would have happened if it was a white actor who stood up and did that? Oh my soul. So yeah, please leave your comments, please join the discussion, tell me what do you think uh, about that in the altercation at the Oscars. By the way, I didn't convert to matches. I'm just too lazy to fill my zipper. <laughs> so 
So, yes, on that note, uh, I'm still well. I'm working. It's going, it's going well. Busy, but good. So, yeah, enjoy your day, enjoy your smoking. Please subscribe if you like. You will definitely not be swamped with videos, <laughs> trust me. Um, maybe you should hit the bell button to be notified because it will be once in a while. <laughs> Any case, enjoy the video, enjoy your day, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think about the Oscar altercation. So, uh, See you later. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.